Serendipity is defined as luck that takes the form of finding valuable or pleasant things that are not looked for, or a happy accident. To meet you on an island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean that you happen to be stationed at for a year and I happen to go on a girl's trip to, that's serendipity. I recently reread my travel journal from this vacation from almost five years ago. It is clear that I loved you even then. Kristen, we've been through so much over the years. Be it separated by the ocean, COVID, tragic life events, now a puppy, or our daily work rants. But in everything, you have been there to help me. Ground me, be my judgment free sounding board. You've been my biggest cheerleader for every victory, large or small, along the way. Are you ready for this going? I am. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Being with you is as easy as breathing. You're my safe space, and you are my home. I promise to earn your love every day. I promise to be your biggest motivator in your goals and your dreams. I promise to care for you, even when we're smelling and senile even though I'll probably be the one with mobility issues. I promise to challenge you and accept challenges from you. Lastly, I promise to love you for who you are forever. I cannot promise that I will always say the right thing at the right time, or that we'll get an amazing assignment to a cool place to do fun stuff. But what I can promise, I'll do my damn best to make you happy, keep you safe, communicate clearly, often, and effectively, champion your life events, Try to remember the things you said that you're gonna do like six times, but this is like literally the first time you told me. And this doesn't count. I promise these things to ensure we will continue to have a happy, happy relationship. So one of those guys gets transported across time after touching a stone in Ireland or something like that. You fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss your bride. I now present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Warner. Corey, I'm so thankful you included me in your special day, but not as thankful as you should be for meeting Kristen. Uh, today marks not the loss of a daughter, but of a wonderful gain in Corey. The true love that these two have for each other is just incredible. So we haven't known each other for a really long time, but in that time I've gained such a beautiful friendship in you both. I still remember first seeing Kristen at the ER when she moved to Virginia. But through our friendship, I have been able to witness your relationship grow into what it is today. That amazing story of how you met and the way that Corey is really horrible at getting the hint. But really the smartest move you've made is marrying you. I'm like, okay, this is, this is her guy. But anyway, I wish you many, many years of love and happiness and welcome to the family, Corey. Uh, as you embark on this wondrous journey together, our hearts fill with pride for the new family you have created. And I think I speak for all of us when I say, thank you, Kristen. We're all getting a little worried. <laughs> if anyone can make it work, it is you two. You have already shown that love can withstand miles, time zones, and countries apart, whether it's over there or over there. You guys really do have a modern day American love story. From finding each other on Tinder, to battling out the long distance, moving to a new state, and buying their first house. Have no fear of the future because you've already made it through 100% of the hard days together, and I don't see that ever changing. You really go together without forcing it. Love each other without fighting it, and care about each other without thinking about it. Here's to love, growth, shared happiness, for your brilliant future. Cheers.